What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the most important settings for your single player or server experience and I'm going to show you a neat little trick to just export all your single player settings onto your dedicated server and run it for your friends or even for a whole clan or just to start your own hosting at that point. So over at the single player section of the game, if we go to game rules, starting with player, we can see various settings to customize your arc experience. If you hover over any of these settings, you will see a little explanation onto what it does and how you have to adjust the value in order to increase or decrease whatever the function does. And these settings are categorized into neat different sections describing major parts of the game. So first you can choose between three difficulty presets, easy, medium and hard, where hard is the official difficulty setup. That's what's running on the servers, on the official servers. Then medium, where you do twice the damage and a whole boatload of other settings is also adjusted, like uh, food drain, stamina drain. And also the creatures won't be max level. And easy, where you do three times the damage, I believe. And also creatures spawn only up to level 35. So, but let's say you want to play on medium. You want the water, food and stamina drain and the damage, but you want max level creatures. So you go to world and there you can turn on maximum difficulty. This will override and you'll get 150 creatures. Now you have 150 creatures, but also double the damage and less water drain. I for myself like to adjust the stamina drain to be a little more, like 0.8. So yeah, the game rules tab is where you're gonna find all the presets and the most accessible settings. So moving on to the advanced tab, under here you can find a lot of useful additional settings like you can turn on no diseases or disable the permanent diseases. Also here under world is where you're going to find your mating intervals, your lay egg intervals and uh, baby mature speed and all of that. It's getting a little complicated at this point but this is also where you're going to find your um, per level stat increases for wild, tamed and player entities. For example, if you want your players to have more weight with every level up than the default, you can increase this here to, let's say, twice the weight per level in the weight stat. Of course, that's also available for wild and tamed dinos. For tamed dinos, it's a little more complicated because you have stats per level. This is for every level that your wild dinosaur has how much that its stats increase when you tame it. And then you have your add per level. This is how many stats or like how much weight is added per point that you put in your dino after it's tamed. And the stat affinity, which affects the taming effectiveness. So let's say if you have 80% effectiveness, you can co configure this here. Let me know if you still have questions or if I should make a more in-depth video about settings alone. Um, for now, I'm gonna highlight a few more that are probably gonna be important, like XP multipliers. If you have multipliers here, but you also have a multiplier under game rules, then these are gonna stack. So just keep that in mind. Something to also keep in mind under miscellaneous you can adjust the maximum tribe size together with a few more rating settings and the supply crate and fishing loot quality. Like I said, let me know if you want a more in-depth explanation on the settings itself. For now, um, if you want to play single player or host your non-dedicated through this, then you'll have to add mods here under mod settings. Otherwise, I'll continue now with the installation of a dedicated server. But regardless, if you play on a single player, non-dedicated or dedicated server, go to your game rules, 
click on save settings and start a non-dedicated session once. This will save all your settings in those game and user settings.ini files and we can just export them into our own dedicated server. All right, so let me follow up on this little trick I was promising earlier in the video. So to export your game settings, just go to Steam or locate your installation of the game and go to properties, go to installed files, browse. And this will bring up a folder, which is the root folder of your Arc Survival Ascended installation. From here, just go to shooter game, saved, config, and then windows. And here you're going to find your game.ini and user settings.ini files. Copy these two and save them in a different folder. In this next step, we're going to download the Steam CMD and install the dedicated server for Survival Ascended and update it. And after that, we're going to start it once and then replace all the settings with the ones we've done before. Um, so for that, just create a folder for your server and then in that folder, create another folder called Steam CMD. In that Steam CMD folder, you're going to place the Steam CMD.exe link in description. And after that, you're going to create these two batch files. I will also include the full content of these batch files in the description. The first one would be the update ASA server. Uh, you're gonna wanna create one and edit it. And in it, you're gonna paste this. I'm gonna put that in the description, like I said. What this does is it calls upon the steam cmd.exe and basically creates the ASA server folder and uses the anonymous login to download and validate the Arc Survival Ascended dedicated server. After you created that, close it again and create the second one, which we're going to use to start our server. In here, you're going to list the, the map, which is default. We only have one at this point. Um, then session name. This is what's going to be showing up in the server browser in Arc. So you just gonna have to fill in here. You have to fill in a admin password, which you can do here. The default port of this game is 7777 and 27015. These two have to be open in order for you to host your dedicated server. Really make sure that these ports are open. They have to be open on your Windows machine and on your router. After that, it's just the player count and any mods you'd like to have. You can add with minus mods and then enter a comma separated list. I also like to include no bad lie, but you can also run it with bad lie. After that, let's close this. All right, now that everything is prepared, we have our local config from earlier our Steam CMD and our two batch files, we can start with downloading the server. So for that, click on the update server batch and it will start the Steam CMD to pull the newest release for the Arc server. As soon as that's done, you can start your server once. This will run it and create all the necessary files in order for us to exchange the settings. Yeah, and also accept this. Once this is complete and the status is green, you can close this down again. Now we are ready to copy over our local settings that we extracted earlier. These are in this local config folder here, these two. And I have this in side by side just because it's easier for you to see. We're going into ASA server and from here in shooter game and saved here under config and windows server you're gonna find your game user settings so next you're gonna copy over your game.ini and after that we're gonna extract some settings from our game user settings local into our server so for that 
it's best to just open them up side by side again. Once you have them open side by side, you can see the local one on the left here and the server one on the right here. Just scroll to server settings under both files. And you can already see the local one is a bit bigger than the one on the server. And we're gonna paste over all of these settings. First, make sure to remove the active mods tab from here because we're gonna set this in the batch file and not in here. And also make sure your ports are still correct. You can also use different ports. These are just the standard ports. So with that, we're gonna copy over all of these settings over here to server settings on our server. And we're good. Here are also a few honorable mentions. These settings are not in the base game, so you have to add them in a, any file. You can configure them through the menu. For the game.ini file, which is this top part here, you have baby imprint and cuddle and grace period, uh, period multipliers, as well as uh, mating intervals, which can be quite handy. And also server settings for the game.user uh, ini. You can change the duration you have to hold to pick up structures, the player kick timer. Also, you can change the autosave period to make your server safe more often so you don't have to roll back 15 minutes on a crash. You can change the max tamed dinos. You can also change the item stack size multiplier. And also, you can make it so you're able to build on supply drop locations. And just to clear things up, you're gonna use the update ASA server batch file to update your server. Like every time wildcard pushes another fix, you can run this and it will pull your server to the newest update. And if you wanna start your server, you're gonna run this and it will start your ASA server. If you have trouble finding your server in the server browser, make sure the ports are forwarded and also make sure that your server is running and the status light at the bottom left is green. If you still have trouble connecting to your server, you can also open the console and just type connect followed by your IP and your port. Once you're logged into your server, you can use the following commands to enable admin mode, save your server and quit your server. I always recommend quitting your server the right way with the command so you don't lose any progress. I hope you like this little explanation and setup guide. If you have any further questions or want me to explain something else, please hit me up in the comments. With that, thanks for watching the video, consider subscribing, leaving a like or a comment, it really helps me out. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Peace out.